feel me? I'm Nina, oh Nina, banana, Havana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown. I'm Nina, oh Nina, banana, Havana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown. Oh, she's the black girl with the attitude. This is me and my Filipino face before the makeup. I'm just popping a wig cap on and popping in my contacts. These are my prescription blue ones, but I would have used my Halloween ones, but I can't see through those. So um, I pop these ones in. Now I'm gluing down the eyebrows. I must have done about four to five layers of thin glue stick. And I'm using the back of a brush to flatten that down. This is where it gets a little bit crazy because I am actually going to be flattening and covering my moustache hair. I'm not going to cover my beard because it's going to be black anyway, but I'm going to be covering my moustache because I wanted to keep my facial hair after, but I wanted to do this drag look for you guys, so I wanted to show you guys my dedication to create these makeup looks. And now what I'm doing is just powdering my skin. What I'm doing now is using my Kryolan TV paint stick in 5W and covering all of the face area. <laughs> um, this shade is way too pink for me. I thought that the warm shades in the Kryolan TV paint stick were going to be yellow toned, but they're not. So I think I need to buy new Kryolan TV paint sticks because the shade is actually correct, but the undertone is so not right. It's just so pink for me and I'm yellow because I'm Asian. Now I'm using the 2W, which is a pink toned lighter color. Uh, it's in the same family as the 5W, and what I'm doing with that is highlighting under the cheekbones, on top of the cheekbones, on the muzzle area as well, you know, very drag, very paint by numbers, that sort of thing. And I'm also going to be highlighting the nose on the center area, and then pushing that up towards the forehead, and I'm just spreading that highlight through. I actually really, really enjoy Nina, and I loved all the looks that she created, because I myself, I love cartoons, I love animes, and even though her inner saboteur got her down, I still rooted for her, and I'm sounding like Shea Coulee. Time to contour with my Barry M Chisel Cheeks contour kit, and I'm contouring the nose, the temples, and also onto the cheekbones. What I'm actually doing on the nose contour is I'm pushing the highlight towards the brown contour that I made. This whittles the nose down because I do have a very big Filipino nose, so I'm just contouring that down a little bit. And now time to powder. Generally in drag makeup, you powder a lot. Um, this is what I'm doing right now so that I've got a clean flat base as I do the rest of the makeup. And I'm gonna move on to the eyes now. So I'm going to draw face lines. So this is guidelines for me to create my look. So I'm drawing a curve into the crease, our new crease, which is way higher than our normal crease. The liner, which is actually quite thick. I did it quite thick. And then the eyebrows as well. I'm drawing the eyebrows black because this is a cartoon Minnie Mouse, Nina Bonina Brown look. It's not, you know, a natural look. So that's why I'm using black, where generally I wouldn't do that. And then I'm going to be using Aja's, I mean, I mean Nina Bonina Brown's clown white. Um, it's Nina Benina Browns guys, and I'm going to be etching out the eyebrows, as you can see, this proper cleans, do you see that? Do you see how clean the eyebrows look after doing this? This is just such a must when it comes to any makeup in general, to be honest, I just love doing this. And then I'm going to be using Nina Benina Browns Clown White, Sue Me! Sue Me! That's my little godson, he's being messy. I'm using the shade and light eye palette and taking the black shade. I'm gonna be setting down the felt liquid eyeliner just cause it is a little bit shiny. It's coming across a little bit shiny. And I'm gonna fade the inner corner as well to give that ombre look. I'm taking the white eyeshadow to set the clown white as well. I'm taking this peachy shade as my transitional color and I'm gonna work hard in blending this and closer up, it really, really looks unblended and this camera is making it look so unblended, but honestly, I'm gonna work hard. Once you see it, 
um, zoomed out, it is it is much more blended than what it looks like right now. It's because I covered the brows as well, so the texture is obviously going to be different than your normal skin. I also deepened the crease with a warmer brown, and now cutting the crease with black. Again, this black is going to be blended. As you can see, the focus of me blending is real. Um, after that, the eyeshadow a little bit messes up the clown white, so I'm going over the lid to just cut the lid even more and setting that with white eyeshadow. You want this eyeshadow to be super, super white. Now, for liner, I use a Primark PS gel eyeliner. I use the PS gel eyeliner generally for my drag looks because you have to use a lot of eyeliner for drag. What I'm doing right now is using the clown white to draw under the eyes and also on my lower waterline to make the eyes super super big. And again, setting that with a white eyeshadow. What I'm doing now is using my PS gel eyeliner again and draw underneath the new lash line and extend that down into the inner corner and I'm also going to draw that back going towards the tear duct. I popped in bottom and top lashes and now I'm going to be contouring the face. Nina Bonina Brown's face was actually quite warm in terms of the contour so I'm using my Clinique pressed powder in ginger to just warm up the face and I'm going to contour the nose basically setting everywhere where we cream contoured. For my blush I'm using this bright as orange from Stargazer and I'm just brushing that onto the cheeks for a warm tone but I am going to be mixing in a reddish and a pinkish tone just on the very very apple of the cheeks to get that Minnie Mouse reddish kind of look. After that I'm going to be using my Ella Masca black eyeliner to draw in my guidelines for my cartoonish nose, my twirl on my sort of new hairline. This is what Nina did and I think this looks super super cool. I'm drawing the little twirl, drawing around the forehead and drawing in cute swirly sideburns. After this I'm going to be drawing in like a triangular shape on my top lip, drawing in a smiley upper lip and I'm going to overdraw my bottom lip to make them look bigger as well. As you can see now, what I'm doing is using black face paint onto the negative space that I've created. And this is when the looks sort of start to come together. And this is when I start to feel myself. I'm going to be using the clown white and drawing in a little nose highlight. And drawing the rest of the nose with the black. I'm just filling it in. Drawing in my chin strap and just using the black face paint again. This is why I chose this look to create on this day to be honest because I get to keep my beard. I am filling in that triangle shape with the white and using my MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the red shade. This is a flat matte red lip colour and I'm just drawing in the bottom lip. And I'm also going to be drawing the red onto my new top lip, which is where I covered my moustache area. I'm just going to draw a straight line downwards onto that triangle to create two mouse teeth shape. And then I'm drawing in the negative space with my black velvet lip lacquer from MUA again. I'm going to be shading in some of the black as well and relining it just to make it more defined and I'm drawing in two little curves on the side of the mouth to make it look like I'm permanently smiling and drawing in a beauty mark and drawing four dots on each side of the upper lip and I'm drawing in little details with white face paint to create little shines on the lips. As you can see the lighting keeps going in and out and the colours of the video keep changing. I'm really really sorry about that. But um, yeah, the lighting on this video was just absolutely atrocious. At this point, I was really struggling trying to stick on these paper ears as I don't have liquid latex, so I just DIY'd it. Film it. And this is the final Nina Bonina Brown, Anderson Lee, Boyer Chapman, Andre Charles, Minnie Mouse look. And I absolutely loved it. And I love Nina Bonina Brown so much. I love 
her live videos on Instagram and she's just so talented. I can't wait to see the looks that you come up with. Bye guys!